So part B of this question is uh, kind of uh, kind of fun as well, fun for people like me, and uh, well, hopefully fun for you. Anyway, um, it says okay, calculate the atomic radius for an atom of this element. You know, given that we just calculated DHKL, the interplanar spacing for the two one one set of planes. So again, let's start with a sketch. Get our heads in the game. All right, it tells us that it's BCC. So really quickly, let's just, there we go, place our atoms. And there's one right in the very center of that cube. Eight on the corners. One eighth is actually inside the cube. And there's one completely in the center. So that's our BCC. OK, we're feeling pretty good so far. Let's start off with our, continue rather, with our equation map. So it's asking us for the atomic radius. <clears throat> Let's see. For BCC, we know A equals 4 over root 3R. We have that expression. Now we want to solve for radius, so we can just rewrite that as radius equals root 3a over 4. And if we do our little vertical line, we say, what do we have on the right and what, do we ha what don't we have? There's nothing that we have right now. So we need to solve for a. So we're going to continue our equation map over here. Let me say, what equation do we have? Um, that can help us get A. So we actually, knowing that we had DHKL from the previous question, hopefully we can realize that we have the relationship between the interplanar spacing and the, um, and the lattice parameter for cubic crystals. So that's DHKL equals A over the square root of h squared plus k squared plus l squared. All right, these are the Miller indices for the set of planes that um, this inter interplanar spacing um, corresponds to. All right, so now we're now we're we're making some progress. So we've written it explicitly for what we want, A in this case. The vertical line, what do we have and what don't we have? Well, we actually have the HKL from the first part of the question, which was 0 0.12 nanometers. Let's fix that too. There we go. And we have H equals 2, k equals 1, l equals 1. Why? Because we said earlier it was the 2, 1, 1 set of planes. So that's hkl. So we have that. So we've just shown actually that we have everything on the right hand side of this expression. So we can go ahead and finish our equation map solving explicitly for radius. So we've got radius equals root 3 d h k l h squared plus k squared plus l squared all to the root and over 4. OK, last thing I'll do before we solve is the dimensional analysis. simple one. Radius is going to have units of dimensionless, dimensionless. DHKL has units of nanometers. Miller indices are dimensionless as well. So we've got 
And our final answer in nanometers. And if you work that out, you're going to get 0 0.13 nanometers. So that's our atomic radius.